Welcome back to Elden Ring. Let's explore this place of blood. Came from up there. Oh, that's a lot of, um... What were these again? Were these the Albanerics? Do they actually care to attack me? Okay, eventually, yeah. I have an idea. That was terribly effective, but it was really fun. If I don't do that, what would I use? I guess just Comet. Or just Melee, probably. I thought they're gonna go off the edge. Oh, they got special, like, uh, blood magics. Yeah, and they're all red. Oh, I don't have any active rune. Let's actually, I know I keep respawning them, <laughs> but let's go ahead and replace my rune with the restores HP upon defeating enemies one. Oh, right. I don't have many runes left. Well, still. Wow, these are dropping about 2,000 souls each. I mean, granted, I need like 100,000 souls just to level up at this point, but that's still quite a bit given how easy they are. Oh, wow. If all the non red ones are just so depressed looking because they're sad that they're not red and cool like the red ones. I just wish they were cool. 
They also seem really depressed. Oh. Oh. Took me a second. I'm like, wait, what? Can I use a horse here? Oh, I can. That's where we came from up there. Yeah, there's nothing there. I feel like there's a body here that had loot and I'm not sure if I looted it. Yeah. Why did I remember that? I don't know. I guess that's one way to the... <laughs> nothing on the map. One way to the... Uh, big pool of blood down there. Ash of War Blood Tax. That sounds really cool. Yep. I should not have the spell drake talisman on. I should have the thing that protects me from bleeding. What was that? Not that one. Poison and rot? No. Ah, um, robustness. Do any of the others do robustness? Immunity, robustness, focus. Immunity, robustness, and focus. Mm -mm. I assume the one that just only does robustness probably does more than the like more general one. Let's see. How big is the bar? 
And then I'll put the other one on once that's at the bottom and see if it goes down even more. That will tell me if it's better. Okay, so the blood one is gone. That's all filled up. Or all worn down, I guess. Like, I don't know. Hard to describe. Okay, and now the bleeding is going down even more. Yeah, so the one that just does robustness is better at it than the, like, more general one. Makes sense. Oh. 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 I'm a little bit worried about using my magic because I only have three FP potions and there's so many enemies. I can't use comment on all of them. I'm wondering if I should do melee or if I should try Meteorite of Estelle. I feel like this is what it was made for, but I also feel like it won't really work very well. No, I mean, that was shit. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I allocated one more FP flask. And for efficiency, I can use Great Glenstone Shard. I put it back in my spell list, but I also put Glenstone Arc in my spell list, which I haven't had in there forever. But that's also really efficient and can hit multiple enemies. Just wonder how the damage is now. Let's see. Well, helps if you hit him. Uses very little FP. It doesn't do great damage for sure, but not bad. It's very efficient. Thankfully the red ones seem very easily stunnable, like if anything hits them, they stop rolling. to kill them. I'm just worried if I don't to just all get up and surprise me. Yeah, I think this spell's the way to go for these groups. Not for singles, though. Yeah, I think this place would be great for farming XP. Just getting to my souls, I almost have 50,000.
Oh, I'm new in Comet. Whoops. Meant to do a great glenstone shard. What is that? That looks like something that's going to wake up. Get up. Yeah, that's a mouth. But there's a message in the mouth, so maybe it's fine. Hmm. Seems fine. Didn't expect hiding place. <laughs> Offer arms. Blood tainted excrement. Ew. Oh, my God, there's so many of them. Okay, I'm gonna try to gather them all up. Oh, I think they just went back to going around the tree for the most part. Okay, good. We get some potions back. Let there be friendship. Swarm of flies. Probably, yeah, it's an incantation. Releases a swarm of blood flies. God, God Arcane is so cool. Elden Ring players have descended from just being monster fuckers to being dead monster fuckers. Just like 
necrophilic monster fuckers. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. There's probably a mariner nearby that summoned this. Oh, I didn't go in there. No attacking ahead? Like, they're not gonna try to attack me? Okay. sure why it disappeared. Maybe there isn't a mariner. Wait, there's a message up there. And someone said horseback battle ahead. Did they fall down? Or is there a way to jump up? There are little protrusions. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, we can work with this. Oh, yes, we can work with this. Um, well, I seem to be stuck. Huh. Okay, well, apparently it considers that a safe place right next to the place where I got stuck and died. So I guess we have to make our way up there again. And be extra careful. Uh, hello? Uh, there we go. Whoa, wow. That was hard. Okay. I seem to be safe here, so I think I'm gonna put on a twig in case that happens again. So don't go in there. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, the thing is, I don't think you're meant to be up here. Right? Like, you're probably not meant to be up here. So, for all I know, I'm going to fall through the world. Which is why I'm scared to walk on anything. Like, are you meant to be up here? I don't think so. Uh... The collision seems fine so far. Nothing weird at all. So far, there's nothing. Something just died. But no enemies, no messages, no blood stains. Now I'm just fascinated if we could find something weird, because I really don't think we're supposed to be here.
Oh, messages. Raptor ahead? What? It is beautiful. Seek research. feels very special about this place. Just the fact that you can see other players' messages, but you're not meant to be here. Try jump attack. No. What is that floating rock? Precious item ahead, uh huh. Well, I think I want to go back down where I came from because I don't want to risk some weird sequence break or something. Oh, is there? There's kind of like a invisible wall there. But this is where we came from? Yes. Okay. Whew. And I think it's these that actually summoned the giant skeleton. Didn't know they could do that. I better kill it really fast before it laser beams me. Okay. I heard it spawned somewhere. Oh, Jesus. Grace ahead. Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum.
Oh, we have the map. <sighs> yes. Okay. Palace Approach Ledge Road started from there. Went all around the blood. Came up this way. So what is the big pool of blood we see but I didn't go to? Uh... I think I, I think I just haven't been here at all. I think I just went here, down here, and then around here. So yeah, I just haven't been here at all. Ah, yes, side of grace. Okay, well, I think this is the main way to go here. Because I think this is leading up to that huge thing up there, which really feels like the culmination of this whole location. So I'm going to go back here. I want to explore that other blood pool. Oh, I should spend my souls. I have a lot. Probably enough for two levels. Just one. Wow. Okay. Um, more stamina, more decks. Let's get a little bit more stamina. I'm just going to ignore all these. And I could take that little, like, shortcut over that way, but let's just go this way. Because I want to make sure I didn't miss anything over here. Yeah, this is the way I didn't go. Ooh. What is it? What is that? Am I being invaded? Nameless White Mask. Okay, you're going to be one of those. Ah. Oh no. Nope, not a good place to be. I need to go further in. drop anything. I don't know if, it, like, if that's supposed to be a thing under the water or if it's like a geyser of blood. It'll probably just hurt me if I get hit by it. Oh wow, you have a lot of health. Jesus. I just realized I don't have my laser beam equipped. Why the heck don't I? It actually might be kind of perfect here. Of course, there's more than one, so it's not like I just need to defeat the one.
Hmm. Am I being invaded again? Another nameless white mask. Sorry, dogs. I need a clear battlefield. I see a lot of messages. Is that just little lips that people found in the stone? I think so. I don't think that's like an invisible walkway. <laughs> Magic Warriors Cookbook 24. Swarm pot roped fly pot. Be wary of sniper up there. I don't see anything. Again? Persistent. Ooh, they dropped all their stuff. Maybe that was the last one. White mask. War surgeon gown altered. War surgeon gloves. War surgeon trousers. I don't think I want to wear any of that. It's kind of ugly. But I am curious about it. Bloodstained, faintly grinning white mask. Worn by war surgeons who are effectively mercy killers. The Lord of Blood's curse enlivens the wearer when bloodletting occurs. Slightly raises attack power when there is blood loss nearby. Huh. Oh my god. That is so fucking scary with the, combined with the eyes. That is really cool. That's a hell of a look from the front.
Just a bunch of dogs chilling up there. Not gonna bother them. Did I? Oh, I never got that corpse over there. Not sure if that's gonna reach. Dang it. Yeah. Huh? Oh yeah, I wanted this item. Ooh. Mm, what did that one protect me from again? Ah, oh, holy damage, right. Yeah, I still haven't found the original Halleck Drake Talisman, but it doesn't matter, I have the plus two, which is probably the best one in the whole game. I don't think talismans go more than plus two. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, I think that's it, and I can just teleport to the Dynasty Mausoleum entrance. Mm, wait, I came from there. I haven't explored this way yet. What is that? Is that just a dog? I assume the dogs don't bother me with the beast torch, right? Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, thought 
that was a message or something. Yeah, look at those dogs just chilling up there. Oh, I think we can get another level. Yep, we can get one. Mm. Let's go with Dex. How close am I to being able to use that Grand Sax weapon? I don't know if I still have it on me. But I remember it was one of the holy armaments, or one of the great armaments. Yeah, I think I put it away, the Spear of Grand Sax, but I think it required like 40-something Dex. I don't think I'm that far off from it now. Yeah, the Bolt of Grand Sex. 20 strength and 40 dex. Yeah, I actually have enough dex to use it. With my um, ring that increases my... Increases my thingies. Uh, I do need two more strength, though, if I want to be able to use it one-handed, which I do. I should also upgrade this thing. And it does scale with dex, so it's not going to be the most amazing weapon for me. Because Dex isn't my most amazing skill, it's Int. But I do want to try to use it. I mean, it's one of the um, one of the legendary armaments, so it has to be good, right? Or at least cool. And it does lightning, which is cool. Yeah, I think I'll spend my next two level ups on strength, I guess. Oh, hey, the warrior blood loss, yeah. Yeah, let's keep a distance. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're gonna need more arcs. Jesus Christ. How many souls do they drop? I didn't pay any attention. Is it significant? No, very, whoa, very little. Try running, yeah. I don't think it's worth killing them all. Kind of fun though, when you have AoEs like this.
I don't know if I actually want to kill every single one of them, but I do want to be able to at least explore a little bit. I'll try to ignore them and we'll see how this goes. I haven't seen a Newman's rune in a while. Oh, what are you worshipping? What is that? Hmm. Yeah, they're not even trying to attack me, are they? Oh. Oh, is it just a- it's just a giant ooze. Praise the blood loss. Damn, that thing's tough. Do you think they're going to be mad at me that I killed it? Mm. No, they're fine. Somebody got there. I think there's a stake just outside this building. I did have the blood loss protection thing on. Yeah, I did. Okay. Merchant's music. That's odd. Where's your donkey? Oh, gee. Yeah, my, I, terribly sorry. Uh, are you here as a customer? Imprisoned merchant. I'm sorry. You want to leave? I don't think I really need any of these. I guess I'll buy five more stone sword keys and add them to the pile. I have 20. Why not have 25? Oh, I must apologize. I, 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 I'm afraid I've very little to offer. What the fuck? Again?
think something might happen when I take this. Lord's Rune. No? Okay. Oh. Oh, this is just... Like, I gotta... Why does it hit everything but the thing you want? Huh. They are coming towards me, but they're not actually doing anything to me. Just my fan club, I guess. Wouldn't want them to bump their knees in the dark. That's appeared so many times, I think it might just be kind of a normal enemy, I guess. Dynasty Mausoleum Midpoint. Whoa, we're halfway there. <laughs> Boss ahead. Try bow. No torrent here. Is that the boss? Probably. Meteorite of Estelle? I mean, the side of Grace is right there. What the heck? Why not? Moderate success. That's not a boss, though. That's just one of those normal enemies.
Ooh, another somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Nice. Those are few and far between. Right, well, something's coming out of that egg. You must abide alone a while. Welcome, honored guest, to the birthplace of our dynasty. Lord of Blood. What is that? What is that on me? Uh, what is that? building up to something and I don't like it. This is going to be a two-phase boss fight where I have to fight them and then Mikola comes out. Okay, the weird thing is we have Mog's Shackle because we already fought them in a different place down in the, like, abyss. So I don't know if that was a shadow of them and I, I don't know how that works. I don't know why we're fighting them again, but yeah. Uh, oh, right, I really want to switch out my potion because it's kind of useless. I have the boosting magic attack, which is nice, but the eliminates all FP consumption one is pretty pointless. I actually ended up not changing um, my potion because I want to try lasering them. They move pretty slow, and with the shackle, I can definitely keep them in one place for a while. So yeah, I think I'm going to use the shackle and then just laser them. Or actually, um, I think I'll use Manu uh, Manoon? What? <laughs> I think I'll use Rinala's Moon on them and then shackle them and then drink the potion and then laser them. 
that should give me actually a huge amount of damage increase. I like I think their damage negation goes down by 10% with the moon and then my damage goes up about 10% with the potion. Yeah, that'll be pretty great. Okay, so moon. Oh no! <laughs> really? I was so close! Screw you! Oh, that's not what I want to use. Nah, we're doing that again. I gotta get the laser defeat, because that's ridiculous. That was so close. Count up all you want, my dude. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's even worse than before? Okay, I'm gonna try just softening them up a bit first. No, count! What are you doing? Count! Oh, you're useless. Actually, I'm gonna do the same thing I did originally, but then just use the shackle a second time. It doesn't work a second time, does it? Maybe I don't need to use shackle on them at all to begin with. I don't think I do. If they're just gonna count, I can use it to interrupt them. Yeah, I don't need to use it to start with. It doesn't accomplish anything. Wait, what? Does it not work when they've charged it up to three? Or maybe it doesn't, maybe it doesn't work when they're low on health. There we go, yeah! Now there's probably gonna be another phase. Is there gonna be another phase? There's not another phase, oh my god! <laughs> I just felt a demigod with my laser beam of death. Whew. Oh, I just did every little tiny micro optimization that I could think of. There were a couple more I could have gotten out, pulled out of my bag if I needed to. Thankfully, I didn't have to do every little thing, but I'll take you through what I did. Um, first, though, what do we got? Mog's Great Rune, Remembrance of the Blood Lord, and my Zero Souls. Really curious about Mikola up there. I want to shake their hand. Um... Okay, so what do I have going on? Yeah, I have the potion, which has the unlimited FP. No, no FP, of course. Absolutely have to have that. And the other thing in it is the increases your um, magic damage. I think that gives me like a 10% damage boost. Other than that, I was also using the um, moon... Whatever it's called. Uh, Renala's full moon to also re reduce their damage negation, allowing me to do more damage. Um... I also put in the Graven School Talisman, raises potency of sorceries, if I remember right, that only raises them by like 4% or something small, but it's something. Uh, 
And then I also popped in the Stargazer Heirloom, which raises my intelligence by five, I think. I think it was five. Uh, and I also put on the Herodos Glintstone Crown, which increases my intelligence by another couple just to get a little bit more damage out. If this didn't work, I was probably going to try putting on that um, Spellblade Traveling Attire. If I remember it, each piece increases your spell damage by like one or two percent. So I probably would have put that on for these remaining three pieces of armor. Oh, I did a lot to make that work. <laughs> Let's go back to what we had before. Oh, I love it when I can make that work. It's just so worth it. So satisfying. Because it doesn't work in like the vast majority of cases. So when you can get it to work, it's great. And when you can get it to work on a boss, it's even greater. Cocoon of the Empyrean. really expecting to be able to do something with the hand or talk to it or something how much can we see not much just looks like a corpse kind of suspended with goo inside Stone Astrolabe? Astrolabe. Huh. It's a hell of a view. We are looking down on the city of Nokron, I think, are we? <laughs> yeah, we are. Oh, I love that. I can just see the other places. Absolutely love that. Let's see what we can get. A great spear. Um, take strength and arcane. Okay, definitely can't use that. And an incantation blood boon. Can't use that either. So I guess I'll just pop that. Let's put two points into strength. Which now means I can single-handedly wield the Bolt of Grand Sacks, which I've also upgraded to plus nine. We'll try out the special. Okay, so it's a lightning bolt, basically. Can I charge it? Yeah, you can charge it. Does more damage and really does a lot more poise damage. Like it throws them back. Yeah, it makes them actually fall. That does tons of poise damage or whatever that is. I don't know if it's poise or just like a special status that makes them fall like that. Yeah, hmm. That's a good special. Ancient lightning spear. Imbue the armament with the ancient dragon the red lightning. Then throw it as a spear. Can be charged to increase its power. So aside from that... Aside from that, I think it's just a cool looking spear. But it does do lightning damage just with its normal attacks, so that's pretty big too. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to go back to exploring these frosty lands here around the Halleck Tree. <laughs>